Hi, Vicky Topaz is here. Hey guys, it's Eugenie Le Sommet. In this episode, me and my fellow Team Visa athlete Eugenie will be talking all things Lyon, playing in France and the Euros, while setting ourselves a bit of a challenge. We will make pancakes with Nikita, but who is will look better? Nikita, I think I've got this. Okay, raspberry pancakes, two kits, visa done, ready to go. I've just come back from training and look, my pancake kit has arrived. So let's take a little look. Nikita, she thinks she's better than me, but she's mad. Hey Eugenie, how are you? Hey Nikita, how are you? I'm good, and you? Good, good. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> today it's raspberry pancakes. It's a challenge between we, me and you. Yeah. We already know that you've got the good setup. So <laughs> uh, um, let's see how it goes. But I'm confident. Let's say I'm confident. Yeah, that setup, it's not everything, you know? It's yes, like, You can exactly. have uh, uh, nice shoes on football, but it's, it's not... It's not because of that, you, you will be good on the pitch. So, you know, we hey, see. Here's the philosopher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. So we need our flour. Yeah. Our pasta sugar. Yeah. And our bacon powder. Put them all in the bowl at once. Okay, chief. <laughs> I mean, I'm helping you, but I shouldn't really because it's a competition. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> But don't don't say mistake because I will, <laughs> I will jump on it. <laughs> I'll try not to, but I do want to be a winner. <laughs> yeah. So usually, tell us how's things. What's new in your life at the moment? Many things I hear. Yeah. Uh, what is new? It's that I will uh, leave Lyon for a couple months. Uh, I sign uh, to OL Rain. Um, so I will play uh, in OL Rain uh, for six months. Um, yeah. So look at you fly in the nest for a little bit. Yeah. Off to I, OL. Yeah, it will be a, a new experience for me, but I'm really excited to to go there and um, yeah, new challenge and I can't wait for this. But uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely yeah. a new challenge for you because you've been at Lyon a long time. Yeah, 11 years. So, wow. yeah, it's it's new for me. I'm, I'm not, I don't used to travel a lot and like stay one year and leave. No, I stay there for 11 years. So, <laughs> yeah, it will be a, a challenge for that too. And uh, Nikita, what about your French lesson? What do you think? <laughs> Did you improve this year? <laughs> I have the answer, but... <laughs> You tell me usually. I think, to be honest, it's a, it's a work in progress. We say this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> sometimes um, I understand a lot. I understand um, most of what you guys say in training and, you know, what the coach says for <gasps> to speak. <laughs> Get <laughs> Wait. Okay, you are definitely all all equipment. No, no chef. No chef. <laughs> no, Maria, I did. I don't cook with my headphones. <laughs> Usually, what? Uh, it's not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, usually, really. So we're just uh, mixing our egg and our milk, usually, if you got that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to add it to our flour. And tell me, um, you've been here 11 years. So who's been your best signing? <clears throat> ah, have the question. Oh. Difficult question. <laughs> uh, Nikita Paris. <laughs> ah, of course. Of course, of my course. girl. <laughs> uh, I mean, your question, it's difficult because... All my teammates um, uh, give me something in my life, um, and I can't choose one. And I think the diversity was crazy, but I learned a lot of, uh, of course, in football, but also culture, language. Yeah. So I can't choose one, uh, but 
I want to say all my teammates was uh, amazing and um, really uh, interesting. Yes. And, yeah, and yeah, I really enjoyed to play with uh, all my uh, teammates, foreigners, French, and yeah, young, Foreign old. Foreigners yeah. are your favorite though, no? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I, I just ask myself, like, if I didn't meet foreigners in my life, it will be different because you open your mind, you you speak a different language, you learn a lot. Maybe you learn more in uh, two years and all your life sometimes. So yeah, sure. yeah, I'm very happy to do to have that. Yeah, I think it's cool. And you're such a you're such an accepting person, and you're so warm and nice. So you know, it's hard to not like you usually. So yeah, except on the pitch because everyone knows you're a little pit bull. But yeah, that's yeah, that's, time. you know, you know, you too. <laughs> I do. <laughs> that's something football brings together, you know, many people from different countries. and You share a lot language. of things. Yes, exactly. And yeah, it's about stories too. Like you. You spent your life at Lyon. So tell me, what's your greatest memory? I have a lot. Um, you do indeed. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, my favorite, my best moment was uh, my first my first Champions League um, uh, in 2011. Uh, yeah. It was my uh, first season in Lyon, my first time in Champions League, and we won the Champions League. So I didn't expect that, and I was like so proud of me, so proud of the team, and it was a big moment for the club too. Because yeah. your first time is always something special. So, yeah, I will say, yeah, my, my first Champions League. A great memory. How many yeah. Champions Leagues have you got now? Uh, seven. Just seven. seven. Yeah, just seven. Just seven. <laughs> when I say seven, I, yeah, it's crazy to say seven. That's, yeah. is it what is it? Um, it's incredible. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, it's amazing. <laughs> so, the pancake. Yeah, okay. oui. What was your first experience uh, in Champions League with Lyon? Wow, um, my first game was against a Russian team. Yeah, it was Do you remember? Far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Yeah, that was far. Like, wow, we was yeah in the middle of nowhere. Um, to be honest, I was super nervous for me first like five six games at Lyon you know new team new coach um different way of playing yeah um, so yeah it was a nerve-wracking experience to begin with um but then I definitely settled as time went on um, yeah. and the games just kept coming you know we had Champions League um league games then we had yeah, every three, um, three days we we played Exactly. So yeah. that really helped me settle and really get comfortable. Um, yeah, so it was really good experience to be fair. What was um, to play without fans uh, in the stadium? Uh, can you explain and can you say your feeling about it? Yeah, it was difficult, Yush, um, because they create such a good atmosphere. Um, and it's hard playing, especially in the big stadium. Yeah, in the group of all, without fans because it it literally is very empty, you know. So yeah. our bench them did their best to um, create a bit of atmosphere, which was good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's been difficult without the fans. We miss them a lot. Yeah, and can you say that fans can um, yeah they are in the game and they can uh, help too, like when you are in a difficult moment, no? Exactly, yeah, very much so. Um, in England, we call them the 12th man. Because yeah. They help, you know, yeah, in France help. too. Yeah? Oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. Cool. <laughs> I just want to know how are your pancakes going usually because my <laughs> first one... <laughs> my first one was small, look. Yeah. But the competition okay. is not over, so my second was better. And you? Uh, Big one. Okay. This one needs a bit more brown, and I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's too much white, I think. Uh, Nikita, what do you think about um, uh, the final this year? Uh, the 
the winning of Barcelona? Well, it was a comprehensive win for Barcelona in the end. But I was so happy to see an English team compete in the final. It yeah. was it's it's good for our our country, um, the league, the WSL. To it's a great spectacle, and you know it shows how far the league and the teams have come um, in the past five years. Um, but Barcelona are a very good team, and you could see that um, the final was pretty much one sided after thirty minutes. Yeah, but I still think Chelsea played their part, and you know, in the second half they didn't give up. Um, they kept on going, which I was happy to see. When you say it's good for the country because it's same in France when um, a team go in final, it's good for uh, all the women's football in the country. So yeah, yeah, it's it's good for your your country for England, of course. Yes, yeah. but you That's deserve great. you deserve it too because England work uh, really good this past uh, uh, two three years. So and you have the Euro next year, so it's it's good for you. Yes. The game's developing so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's great to see, to be honest. <laughs> Me, they are like big. <laughs> oh, okay, girl. Okay, girl. Next, yes, just a little bit competitive. <laughs> okay, girl. Even in kitchen, I'm competitive. <laughs> <laughs> like you. <laughs> Usually, remember our swimming competition. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, me and Eugenie um, this time last year had a swimming competition. I, I think it was after we won the Coupe de France, but I'm not too sure. Maybe after Champions League, no? Okay, maybe it was. Yeah. I can't remember. But we were celebrating um, as a team at Eugenie's house. And, you know, Eugenie's got a pool. Not like everyone's got a pool, but Eugenie has. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I offered Eugenie a race, a swimming race. She um, wants, she wanted, I need to say, she wanted, she asked me. <laughs> yeah, I thought I could win. <laughs> You're so I actually, I actually thought Eugenie were, was not good at swimming, to be honest. And then she turned out to be a fish. I've never <laughs> seen nothing like her. <laughs> I was not happy, to tell you the truth, after I had um, asked her for the swimmer race and then I got beat. But, um, you know, she could compete in um, 2024 in France for sw the swimming team, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was really happy because I, I knew because when I was young, my parents, yeah. they, they had a pool. So I, I used to swim in a pool. So when you asked me that, I was like, OK, you don't know my level. So let's, uh, yeah. let's go. And yeah, you acted fun. shady. You <laughs> know, I thought this girl can't swim. I mean, yeah, and it was funny because, yeah, we laugh a lot. And, yeah. yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, I've never seen nothing like it. Yeah, you didn't expect to, to lose. No, so, no yeah. way. I'm, I'm so happy we didn't do any bets or any forfeits. <laughs> a funny for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay, girl. Show me yours. Show me. I don't, I don't. <laughs> I mean, all my pancakes are different sizes. Yeah, me too, me yeah. too. Small and after it's uh, big. These pancakes I would not eat. <laughs> <laughs> me, I will. <laughs> so it's time to decorate. Okay, so while we're mixing our raspberries, usually tell me what was your experience in the last World Cup in 2019? How did it go? Yeah, it, it was amazing, you know. So you played this World Cup. Um, but the difference yeah. was that I played in my country, um, so th the experience was amazing. Uh, mm -hmm. The fans and my my best memories was um, the first game when we when we arrived with the bus and we saw every fans around the bus and um, singing and with the flags, the French flags was crazy and the emotions. Uh, during the the um, how do you say uh, when national you anthem? Yeah, the national anthem. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Some girls were crying, and I was like, wow. almost uh, like really emotional, and it was one of the best uh, memories in my life. Um, it's hard to explain, but it was so crazy and amazing. So I remember. Uh, I will remember it 
for my life. And yeah, yeah it was my best moment. You will organize uh, the next Euros in England. Uh, so uh, what, what did you, what do you expect? And what do you think, uh, what is your feeling about it? I, I knew that uh, in your country is something special. So can you tell me about it? Yeah, I think usually the emotion of being at a major tournament is just one of honor. You know, you you truly ne you can't comprehend how unbelievable it is to represent your country at a World Cup or the Euros. So to do it in your home country, yeah. I can imagine. I hope it's the experience that you got last last the um, last World Cup. I'm sure you will you will have it. I hope I hope I get there first, and then I hope I get the experience <laughs> because you know, yeah, it's a it's a big occasion at Euros, and to have it in your home country, you know, it's it's what dreams are made of. Yeah. Do you have any advice about how to manage the pressure of hosting a home tournament? Um. My only advice will be like give your best um, when you play. You give your best, and of course, uh, fans want you to to win. But um, if you give everything on the pitch, you you can't have regrets. So just give give everything you have, like like always, and use this um, uh, this atmosphere for um, for helping you. And mm -hmm. yeah, it's something you need to have a, a positive pressure of that and not the opposite. So take it like that and enjoy every moment because um, it's memories for life. And sometimes you, did, you don't realize uh, on the moment, but after you just think about it and you say, yeah, maybe I didn't enjoy uh, a lot. So just enjoy during the, the competition. Yeah, it's important. Thank you. I'll take that on board, girl. <laughs> I'm not being funny, but I don't even think you'd be able to see the raspberries in the amount of chocolate I've put on these, but nobody likes raspberries. Everyone likes chocolate, so let's just put it that way. <laughs> Nikita! <laughs> in three, two, one, we're going to show our pancakes, okay? Okay. Three. Two, one. Can you see my little smiley face? <laughs> <laughs> Big smile, Nikita. Yes. It's it's too high. Uh, you hide your uh, white pancakes, no? I have to usually that under all them chocolates. I think I'm a winner, no? Yeah, no. Okay, guys, you tell us who won. Comment below in the comments and let us know. Okay, Eugenie, it's really been fun catching up this evening, doing our pancakes. It's always a pleasure to spend time with you. Yeah, thanks. It was a, a good moment. Sorry for the win, but um, yeah, Nikita, next time, maybe. <laughs> we'll see no, how thank it is. you. Thank you. It was a, a nice moment. And, yeah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.